Hello and welcome. Today we're working on financial analysis, the financial ratios in accounting and in finance and how to analyze a company. If you're new, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn. We're looking at financial statement analysis, so let's briefly talk about where we are. Now, financial statement analysis, remember we know the financial statements. We have an income statement, uh, that's the recent performance, the balance sheet, that has our financial position. We have a cash flow statement that has all the cash receipts and cash payments, how we're, we're receiving cash, how we're paying cash, and what we're paying it on. Then you have some kind of equity statement, uh, stockholders equity, and uh, that includes equity and dividends. Now we have also important notes to the financial statements that sometimes we have to look at the accounting policies. Now there's really three areas of financial statement analysis. There could be a horizontal analysis, I've got videos on that, and vertical analysis. Where horizontal analysis, you're looking at changes uh, in an account from year to year, over five years, or whatever. Vertical says this is a common size analysis, and we're converting our dollar statements to percentages, and we make sales 100%, we make assets 100%. So everything is a component of either assets on the balance sheet or sales on the income statement. Now we get to ratio analysis and we're talking about financial ratios. Now one way we compare is we can look at a company for previous periods, we call that intra-company. We can look at this year versus previous periods, last year or two years ago or whatever, and see a trend, is it going up, getting better, getting worse, so on. We can look at a couple of competitors, our company versus competitors. We can look at an industry, or we can look at some guidelines. We might say we want a return on assets, ROA, of 10% or higher. And so we can look at some kind of standard that we pick. Now, so our video today talks about the financial ratio categories. Now, let's start with a big picture, and then our next video will be working on profitability ratios and so on. So the first one you can remember is POMS. POMS stands for Profitability, Activity, Liquidity, Market Ratios, and Solvency Ratios. Now, this kind of helps you think about what categories are important to us. Profitability ratios are the way we measure profit. We can measure profit before tax or after tax. So we have several little ratios that relate to profitability. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, four or five of those that are related to profitability. Then activity ratios talk about well, how many times we collect on account or uh, how many times we sell inventory. So these are called activity ratios or efficiency ratios. Now liquidity ratios relate to how close we are to cash, um, short-term debt we have to pay this year, the current assets, um, how we can convert that to cash, or how can we pay off our short-term debts. That's the idea of liquidity. Liquidity is the idea of being really close to cash. Now market ratios relate to the stock price or the market price, and so we have some things that related to the market price like earnings per share or market capitalization would be market type ratios. Now the last one, solvency, there's really no order except to come up with this little acronym where we can have POMS. And so solvency is related to long-term debt. Now think about what we care about. We care about, do we have the ability to pay off short-term debt, liquidity? The ability to pay off long-term debt, solvency? Do we have too much debt? Um, do we have not enough debt, right? And what's the market price? So solvency relates to long-term debt paying ability rather than short-term, which is liquidity. All right, the next video, we'll start working with the ratios, so see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.